everybody likes to post their their victories, but uh, you know I'm gonna post some of my failures just so we can all learn. Cause you know uh, it ain't all about posting the the stuff that works. Sometimes you you gotta show what didn't work so that uh, other people don't make the same mistakes or go through the same uh, experiences. So uh, you know. That's why they say experience is the best teacher. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, curve cutting. And uh, my adventures haven't been so fun. Um, so I pretty much abandoned it for what I'm, I'm doing. And so I'll tell you why. You know, there's, there's a lot of expensive materials to use to try to figure out what's going to work for that particular plywood. And so it's just been so expensive for me um, to try to figure out what's going to work. Just not worth it. And then the end results, I just wasn't real happy with. And, I, and I'll expand on that here. So I knew that I did not want to have any curve cuts on the arch top part because uh, it's just not going to transmit the sound that well. So this is just a uh, solid arch here. And then it goes into... Uh, these kinds of cabinets All right and so they sound really great and what I'm trying to do I'm trying to create a amplifier because I've built these for guitar amps so I've got these uh, wonderful guitar amps here so uh, one's from Little Walter and this one's from Steamboat amps here in, uh, in, H uh, in Houston and Little Walter is out of North Carolina Phil Bradbury is the guy's name he's awesome so super excited um, to be be working with these world-class guys and I, I gotta have something that's gonna be world-class along with it and and uh, it was just not um, it was it was disappointing to say the least so some of my issues I had now I'll just go ahead and tell you um, I got on and, and online where you can get these little printouts to where you can get your depth it doesn't say the depth that's the problem so you can get your width your saw width, how wide you want the cuts and all that. And uh, so that's on uh, blocklayer.com. It's super, um, you know, informative, but you're, you're going to be experimenting a lot with the depth. Okay, so the depth on shown on these, that ratio is nowhere near what's going to work. So, um, you know, I'll get my um, dial caliper here. And then I noticed the ones that didn't work, you know, were a certain depth for that particular piece of plywood. So that's a three quarter inch piece and it's just a little bit over five eighths. And then I had another depth over here and then that would work. But it was just a little under five eighths and no bueno, it would break. So the other thing is, is you can do the exact same thing, exact same depth, and then it just breaks on you, right? And so most of this stuff is $100 a sheet for this plywood and, and when you start experimenting with this it just gets really frustrating. So <clears throat> granted I am trying to do a really tight radius on this particular application and it's um, it, it ain't gonna work. And I'll show you the details of why it won't work. It leaves little lines in there right and so those little lines just look terrible. Uh, and it might work for a lot more gradual art, but I would never do it for a speaker cabinet because it's just not going to have the resonance. It's going to be have all those holes in it. It's just going to sound awful. It's just not going to transmit any of the low range, but that's just, that's my application, right? So I've gone through several pieces here. And so these are all the failures and a lot of them are pretty similar in the cut depth. And then so you know, it's just right on that top layer. And so some of them made it, some of them didn't. And so you can see it's, uh, I even got really, really, really tight there and it still broke. And so that one was just frustrating. I will give you some tips though. If you do want to go ahead and move with this, then, you know, I was able to go and, and print, uh, print out, cut up a bunch of this eighth inch plywood. And then, so I had, uh, several sheets of it right and then every time I'd make a cut I'd add another little sheet right on my fence so you put it right in there next to the fence right 
And um, so, yeah, and that was working a lot better than trying to mark it on there. But I spent so much time on this, and I just want to give you some expectations, right, before you go and do it on your own. So I'll, uh, I'll go and show you this other amp cabinet that, that was not going to work, right? So I'm going back to the drawing board, board on that, but that's, uh, this is what it looks like. All right, so let's, let's take a look at it from a distance. It looks actually pretty good from, from here, and like as long as you stay away from it, it kind of has nice lines to it, right? And, you know, something similar, you know, the, the shape of my cabinets here, this actually looks good, and then you get up to it, and, you know, it still, still looks really good. Now, this curve cut stuff, you get up to it, and it's got these damn lines in there. That ain't gonna work. So, you know, this house also has a little line right there. It's just frustrating to see, you know, the amount of money that you spend on this material, right? And then just to have it just not come out very well. And like I said, there's just so much of this, and it looks great, like from right here, but then you get up here and you put, I don't have any finish on this, right? And so you put a finish on this. It's just not going to come out well. The other thing is it's really not that sturdy, right? So, um, yeah, I'm just going to share my frustrations. The other thing is I don't have this really that great of a table saw. So um, it's, a, uh, it's a contractor saw that was put into this cabinet, and it's been working great for the last nine years, you know, but uh, for the stuff I normally do. But the depth setting is, like, so frustrating because I'll tighten that little nut down in there but it'll loosen a little bit and then so the blade will just go down a little bit and that 64 30 second of an inch whatever it is makes all the difference in the world and so when you don't have that consistency from one side to the next and it, it so just watch out if you do some of those bigger radiuses you know that's what it's great for right this this curve cutting some of these little guys will pop out like this is one of the pieces here. Like you can see the, the little teeth in there will pop out. It gets real brittle, you know, so it, it just depends on, uh, depends on the application, but um, definitely wanted to, uh, to share that with you guys. I wanted to expand more on the, uh, also the wood types too and the, and the failures that can happen. So I had this actually American made, um, ribbon mahogany plywood that, that I got and it was a hundred bucks a sheet. It was very expensive. So the ribbons on this side, regular mahogany on this side, but the, you just don't know if it's, it just starts to delaminate. And so a lot of these things just start coming up, right? So it gets brittle, glues, you know, kind of come apart and it this curve cutting just doesn't really work out all that great and so it was going to be something that i was going to uh, have for this cabinet so this is one that i'm going to start offering which is actually solid but um but this pattern would match on the cabinet below right and you know there's no finish on it or whatever but it's it's going to be one of those that uh i'm gonna to have to do something different so the other thing is this 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 ended up looking like really splotchy. I'll turn it over and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It it just didn't come out all that great. Okay, so right here you can see some of these cut lines. You know, didn't poke through the veneer, but but you can just see where it's just inconsistent. Really frustrating. And then when it's bent like that, I don't know if the camera's picking it up right. But you can see, like right here, it was just not going to be, just not going to work. So, one of those things, I just had to go back to the drawing board on it, and I'm going to do just a different profile there. And um, so, you know, you kind of, you know, it was lumpy over here too. I don't know if you can see that. See that? Just kind of see some lines in there right there it just wasn't gonna work and so you don't get a nice finish on here like this has only got sanding sealer on it but you can see how this this just glows but it's just uh perfectly square flat 
all along this top curve. And once I get a finish on it, I'm it's going to be uh, actually actually pretty freaking amazing. This is uh, curly cherry and uh, and this ribbon mahogany. Uh, so anyway, all right. So here are a few of my panels that I'm about to salvage and cut up. So. <clears throat> so these are these are cherry and the cherry actually ended up being pretty pliable and you can't see the lines as much I already finish on here but you can still see lines in there you really you look at it it's just not gonna work it's just too tight a radius for for the curve cut so if it was a gentle you know arc and you had enough of those and they weren't too deep might work but this one you can really start seeing the the lines in there and you once you get a finish on there it's just really going to telegraph through and so once it's bent like that this one got a little clumpy over here you can kind of see right there just the way the grain worked and <clears throat> but this is another one of these pieces that you can really start seeing those lines once it's bent like that so it's just too tight of a radius for the curve cuts yeah I wanted to just show too that the strength of these joints is, is gonna be nothing right and so I'm gonna go and pull it backwards but it just will break just off of uh, it back and just you got a tiny little veneer that's holding everything together and so yeah you know you gotta you gotta try you gotta try but sometimes things just don't work out it's all right now i know what won't work yeah you know they they say experience is the best teacher and uh so I'm, I just wanted to share some of my experiences with this curve cutting stuff because there's, uh, there's just not, I didn't see any of the, the failures out there. So um, that way we can all learn and I just don't want you to go through what I went through and the amount of money I spent on, uh, on learning this, these mistakes. And so um, that's what it's all about, just trying to make the YouTube community a, uh, just a little better place. All right, well guys, uh, if you like that, just uh, like and subscribe and watch me in, in my adventures with my Hallcraft cabinets and, uh, you know, let's see where this will go.